So, out of nowhere, as far as I'm concerned, we got drip marketing for 1.3 before even 1.2 is out in weathering waves. And um, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the two drip marketed characters. And they're pretty big. I've done a little bit of research on at least one of them. It's the one that we see before us, the Shorekeeper. And she is looking... Oh, so fine. My goodness, I am very respectfully looking at her tacit mark. And what a tacit mark it is. It is looking very different from any other character that I can think of. It's usually the standard horizontal yellow black one, but hers is nice and blue. Goes right in between the uh, good stuff for her, and wow, it is it is quite a looker. She looks amazing. I am very interested in her, which is why I did some digging into to seeing more information about her. And um, I have some mixed feelings, because based on her design and her color palette and all of that, you might be thinking Glacio Ice. But according to what I dug out, that is going to be wrong. She is actually going to be Spectro, apparently, which is surprising because we already have Jinsu. But then I did a little bit more digging into and then it fi you find out that it doesn't even matter because she might be a healer, which basically means Verena is probably going to get power crept by the shorekeeper. Potentially, we will see. Which is not something I'm going to complain about. I'd rather have the Shorekeeper than Verena on my team for some obvious reasons. But also, it's about time Verena get t t got some rest. Because honestly, she's in like in every team comp. We get Verena 2.0 and the Shorekeeper. I will not complain. So then I could have two teams. One with Verena and one with Shorekeeper. Now, obviously, this is all information that you have to take with a grain of salt. I'm still kind of hoping she's Glacio, but if she does end up being healer supportive and she is Glacio, that means I just don't need to build my Baijiu. Because I'm, I'm about to build her, but now I'm going to stall. I might have to stall until I get more information about her, and then hopefully I get more information about her soon, because I'm very interested in this character. I'm very much probably going to pull for her, because 1.2 is pretty much a full-on skip for me. I don't think I'm going to be pulling in 1.2. Saving my wishes for 1.3, 100%. That being said, outside of her looks, what do you think? What, what what do you guys think about her? I think she's looking fine as heck. Um, really giving me hopes for 1.3. 1.2 can just be a heck of a pass. I'm sure some people are going to be into 1.2, but I am looking forward ahead to 1.3 thanks to this character. And now let's look at the other character who is a four star Yohu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm just going to say Yohu. Um, I mean, she looks cute. She's very much Glacio. If she is not Glacio, I'm actually going to be so pissed because she has a little snowflake down here in the center and it matches her color palette as well. She's looking like a honestly, she kind of makes me think of Gura. Uh, I can't be the only one that just sees Gura in like a summer outfit, <laughs> right? This, this is basically, this is basically Gura. Um, I also came across a meme. Oh, maybe sh should I? Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll dig it up. I'll dig it up. Where we, we, we can now collect the Powerpuff Girls in Weathering Waves chat. Now you too can have the Powerpuff Girls in Weathering Waves. You got your heal, and, and they could possibly be a good team comp. Who knows? You got your healer in Verena. Encore is either a DPS or sub DPS, and now you just need to hope that Yohu is a uh, support. And there you go. You've got your team. Unless Yohu is like main DPS and Encore takes the sub DPS role, and then you have Verena as your healer. There you go. Team. Team team built. You want your lolly team? There's your lolly team. Powerpuff girl team. That Those are the updates for Weathering Waves. Two new characters coming out revealed in 1.3. I am kind of curious, considering we were only the only characters coming out in 1.3 is one five star and one four star. I'm also wondering about if we're going to be getting a rerun already. Are we going to be getting a rerun in 1.3 already? Because patches come in two phases and we're only being shown one five star, which makes me think that we're we're going to already get a rerun in 1.3. And now the big question is, who the heck is that going to be? Irregardless, I'm going for the shorekeeper. A hundred percent. And there's nothing stopping me.